the H on that sign fell off, but that's his wife's name, Kathy. We got another good intersection here. So this is O scale. We've got three rail in the middle, two rail on the outside. Craig, this thing still work over here? No. Oh, it don't work. Okay. Hey. Well, right here where the Texaco truck is, that used to go up and down. Some of these kits, and some of the stuff Craig has scratched built. Silos, PVC pipe, good stuff. All right, so I'm gonna let y'all read this out loud because I'm not going to, but just read that in your mind for a few seconds. Here's another good one. Let's see some of the good detail. So this side's a little more hilly and rugged. He put in a cut. Actual, that's an actual radio. Let's see if I can pull in here. If I don't take out those trees. See a good eye view here. Texas and Pacific and Missouri Pacific. This is a really, really cool layout. And I know y'all seen the Piggly Wiggly on my video. There it is, an O scale. And he's got even a Taco Bell way over there too. So if you get hungry, there you go. If you turn out the lights, you can see things a little better. Wait for the train to go by. Like I said, he does two rail on the outside, three on the inside for demonstrations. Inside the machine shop, a couple of Mopac cabooses. So this is a Zo scale. Give me a minute and I'll show you another one here in a minute. I just wanted to show you a little quick snippet here. No, nothing in action, but on the bottom here we have HO scale with code 100 on the left, code 83 to the right. And then halfway up we have N scale, and then at the top we've got Z scale. So we can actually test uh, locomotives and cars on the layouts up here as well. Now we got a train going to Memphis. For you UP and CSX fans, a few locomotives that went by. I'm actually up in the operator's bay. Here's our scanner, old type rider, and here's our monitor that shows the train coming from North Little Rock running down to Memphis. And we've also got track one lined up for another train that might come uh, who knows when, but Judsonia is just the next town south of us like I said in the last video we're right here this signal that you see there that's the signals right over there now this layout here has a lot of action going on it and that's because mr. Craig's actually building this for someone 
So these are one of the only few hobby shops where, some, you know, we actually build layouts for people. Um, when Atlas got these curved switches in, this is kind of what it looked like before. So now we're debating on maybe throwing that curved switch in there somehow and running over to these two industries, which would give a better, you know, what to call it. There's a HO scale Taco Bell. You saw that O scale earlier couple of buildings and like I said he's he's trying to work on some things these are lighting controllers and he's gonna put in signals he's got a couple of signals there and he's gonna put, put those trees in as well this is a really really neat layout I've actually ran my um, uh, I've got a f7a unit with a um, spy camera in it and I actually ran that on this layout I'm sure he's going to put this somewhere else as well, probably up on that mountain somewhere. So, so yes, we do also custom layouts for anybody and everybody. All right, so let's talk about merchandise. So we got some O scale stuff here, track, more O scale accessories. We got stuff up top too, more O scale styrene. You need styrene and basswood. And then we move over to the HO stuff. And we do have some used stuff like consign, you know, well, I guess you could call it consignment or uh, basically Mr. Craig buys out an old estate and end up selling stuff. And you can even see that train still going in the um, reflection in the, in the glass. More HO, we, we got kits. Some merchandise. Uh, we got Missouri Pacific Cotton Belt and Rock Island shirts. So if you're a big fan of those railroads, let us know. Um, we've even got a Boy Scout train set down there. So if you even got a Scout, you can start off with that train set and that will help them with their merit badge. We've even got some scenery stuff. Flock ballast and stuff down there more flock you name it we've got a lot of scenery stuff here i'm gonna slide around there's mr craig and i guess he's looking for stuff for people we've got a few custom mugs some circuitry stuff code 83 track soundtracks we are a soundtracks dealer more track and track accessories around a code 83 for ho at the bottom Come up top. Hey, in scale. We got a lot of in scale stuff. So if you're interested in any of this stuff, let me know. Reach out to me and I'll see what kind of price I can get for you. And we'll take care of it. And we've even got some in scale buildings as well. And I forgot to mention, we've got HO scale buildings at the top too. So. All right, everyone. Well, that's pretty much it. Y'all be safe out there. And like I said, if you haven't subscribed, subscribe. And, oh, I forgot about that stuff. Hey, there's some Cato Unitrack stuff too. All right, so like I said, if you haven't subscribed, please subscribe. Uh, hit the bell so you can get the future notifications, but you got to make sure you shade it in. And if you like it, thumbs up, so that way it helps uh, with the YouTube algorithms. And leave a comment if you're interested in anything. Alright, take care everyone and happy railroading.